Hey there, so today we're going to talk about my the LG Arista. This is a full review. But before I even start, I need to take the case off. So I know I'm holding this upside down as I just realized, but let's take the case off. And then we'll begin. So the first thing you see is around the device. So let's take a look around the device. So on the top here, you have no LED lighting at all. So, I mean, besides for the flash. I know LED notification light, which is a little bit annoying, but for the, for the price, I mean, can't complain too much. But at the same time, really, like, I, I just wish there was some sort of LED notification. You get your earpiece, it's, it's good. You get your ambient light sensor and your um, proximity sensor and then you get your your 5 megapixel front facing camera. Then you get your 720p 5 inch display on the bottom you get your headphone jack, which is good because I like placing my phone like this in my pocket. You get your micro USB, your your microphone, and I still haven't taken off any of these stickers here. On this side, you get a, some sort of sticker, but nothing else. On top, you get a noise canceling mic. On the left side, you get your volume up and down. Now, the cool thing about this is it has some sort of curved display. I don't know how to talk about it some more but with this curved display it has a little easier to hold in the hand it makes it a little thinner it's not like the Samsung curve so if you see it just starts right at the end so there isn't really going to the edge here so you can't do some edge stuff it'd be cool if they did that then you get your speaker grill and everything else you get your LG logo the speaker gr speaker isn't bad but it's not the loudest like my LG style has a louder speaker I mean, my Z Max Pro, and I th if I can remember, I think Melge Style had one, I'm not sure. Power button, this is not a fingerprint sensor like the G5 and all those jazz. So you're not going to get a fingerprint sensor. You get your LED flash, which is actually brighter than the L than the Z Max Pro. Like, seriously, it's, 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 it's just brighter. Then you get your 13 megapixel camera with the 1080p video. Five. The front facing camera has a 1080p video. Then there is this cool textured design, which is exactly what it looks like. And then you can take off the back here. And you get this very, very flexible uh, soft plastic. You get your SD card slot. It says up to 32, but probably can hold 64. A nano SIM. This looks like it's easy to replace if you need to. Looks like it just is held on by a pin. You just unscrew this and you can pull it out. You get your access to your movable 2410 milliamp hour battery. And then your speaker grill is down there. So, you want to make sure that this is back on because they made sure for themselves that this is back on. Now, let's talk about screen. So, when you talk about screen, you get your lock screen and you get to swipe up no you get to add stuff to this over here even when it is on the lock screen and a cool thing is you can reply straight from the notification bar now and when you get an email if you swipe down you and you get like two emails at the same time it happens to me a lot like I'm, I'm about to delete an email then all of a sudden second email pops up and on my ZMAX Pro I can't go in and delete them separately right here I have to go in open up and swipe them away. I can't just press this up here. I can't just press that and I can't just press delete, delete. So it's a nice feature. You get your uh, standard LG stuff. Standard LG stuff. Now I did a video on enabling this app drawer here. You get your My Metro stuff. You get your basic Google stuff. Now the thing that I 
what's interesting to me is when people are buying some phones, most games that you're going to download require you to have the Google the Google Play game. So why isn't it just included is my question. I really don't know. So you get your calculator, you get your calendar, a camera, clock, contacts, downloads, email, Facebook is built in. You get a nice file manager. You get your FM radio. So for this, you actually have to have some headphones. And I have them here. Now, the question with the um, the question with this is, will I be using the FM radio 24/7? The answer is no. I I I, I just won't. Well, the main reason is because I don't have um much that I want to do with them. Okay, so you can you can um you can go up here, you can change it, you can exit out, you can go like that, which is a cool feature. Like instead of swiping away, all you do is you go like that for three seconds usually, and it shows up there. So I am gonna X out of this because I'm not gonna use the radio, but that is a cool feature. Then there is the gallery, which is the standard gallery. I don't think I've actually so you can go like this. You can swipe over, it shows you all this. Then there is the LG Backup messaging app, which is um, a nice messaging app here. You get your standard keyboard. Then you get your music, which I haven't used, but you can go like this. Now, I haven't used this, the speaker on here, but, I mean, I've used it, but this is hi-fi music downloaded straight from LG Smart World. But I, I think it sounds, uh, sounds okay. I've always liked LG's, um, I always liked LG's stuff. So if you go into here, auto stop music on Wear, sync a playlist with Android Wear, because... So, you know, most most people have Android Wear. Then there's the settings, which I'll get into in a second. There's LG Smart World. That is interesting, where you can download themes for this thing. <clears throat> you can download games. You can download wallpapers. Um, I don't even know. You can download ringtones. They're all free here. Um, you can download uh, hi-fi music. So... If you wanted to download some good sounding, great sounding music, you can download it. Then you can do tasks, voice message, voice recorder, and Evernote comes built in, which you can uninstall. And then there are your widget drawer. You can do some stuff. View apps, buy, show small icons, hide show apps, edit on install, and home screen settings. And home screen settings just brings you up to this. Now I'm going to bring you into the settings here where you can get airplane mode, Wi-Fi, it does not have 5 gigahertz, only 2.4. Not the biggest thing in the world when it comes to cell phones because I haven't seen so much of an, of a, uh, this improvement, of an improvement, uh, uh, performance decrease. You get your Bluetooth that has Bluetooth 4.2. You can do mobile data, you can also show Wi-Fi usage. And then in here you have a thing called data saver where it use data saver so one app allowed is what app is that actually so the only app that's allowed is the google play services other than that it will restrict background usage it can show this you can go to wi-fi and then there's the calls which is voicemail call and blocking with the clients so nice has that built in answer and then calls voice over all t wi-fi more Noise suppression and coming call pop up. However, when outgoing call answered, vibrate when call ends. Video speaker for video call gestures. I really haven't used that. Flip phone to silence and coming call. So if you're getting a call, you can flip it like that. So I can just test out that feature actually. Mm. 
I'm going to take my LG, uh, my ZDZ Max core, and I'm going to dial myself an under star 67. So I just silenced the call, but it's still there. I'm going to answer it just because I hate when that's like that. And then you have... So that feature actually works on this phone. Then you have call bearing, uh, call duration, um, additional settings. So basically if you have an old plan or a plan where you don't have unlimited uh, unlimited calls and you want to know how many calls you've made that month, you can see. You can turn on hearing gate capability mode, TTY mode. Why did I just exit out of that? Why did I just exit out of that? So then you have your tethering. You have your mobile hotspot. All that jazz. And then you have the more, which is Wi-Fi calling, mobile networks, VPN, and printer. So you click on mobile networks. And it pops up. So GSM, WCDMA, LTE Auto, APN will be set for your, th your network location. You can do it on data roaming. I like that. VPN just does basic or LG VPN. So I'm not going to set up a lock screen, just be able to use VPN. Then you have your sounds and notifications. Now, I feel like a ton of different um, different phones have the sound profile where you can do sound, vibrate, or silent. Where basically, you can go like this. And that's the sound profile. You can do your volume straight from here. You can do your ringtone, which is nice. You can add your own ringtone. And then there's ringtone ID, which I've never gotten, but okay. So five sound with vibration, standard vibration, do not disturb. Um, you can set it to go at certain times. Lock screen, show all notifications, apps, and advanced. Notification sound, vibrate on tap, sound effects, message, and voice call readouts. So you can do dial and keypad sound, keyboard sound, touch, and screen lock sounds. And then a message and call would read out all of these notifications, which is very stupid. Then you have your display, which brings you to your home screen. You can select your app drawer and stuff. Lock screen. You can do screen lock. And then there's smart lock. Wallpaper, choose a position in the clock. So you can do center or left. You can customize the shortcuts. So you can have four or five customized. So also another thing is if you don't use the camera, you can actually change that. You can don't have to have the camera stuck there in this, on that side or the vo dialer. You can have the swipe screen effect. And then you can have contact info. So power, so lock timer is five seconds after screen timeout and power key locks instantly. Then you have your themes, as I mentioned. I downloaded one. I don't want to install them, but you can do that. Then you have your home top touch buttons where you can do button combination where you can add you can remove, which is why I have this here. You can do your color, black or white. Now I like white just because the phone is a little silver and that stuff that makes the screen look bigger than, and black would make the screen look smaller. So you have your, whoops, you have your different kinds of fonts and you can download more. You can do font size, bold text, auto brightness, comfort view, which is basically making the screen a little different color just so it's easier to see at night, which is true, but annoying. Sometimes display size, set items on the screen to be easy size, so you can slide a slider, double tack to knock on or off, so I can do this. And it works in any app by just double tapping the, st the status bar. So you can do screensaver, I don't really know why. Motion sensor calibration, which is basically sensing all that. So you can do all this other stuff here. Basic stuff now. You have your storage, which is... I used 9... You get you get 11 gigs out of 16. And then you have an SD card, which can only be used as portable. You have your power and, sa power and battery savings. So if you want to turn off this battery optimization... So let's say an app like... <clears throat> For me on this thing, I had to have to turn off battery optimization for, uh, for Play Store. So if I go for not Play Store for, um, what is it? It's for the Google Play Music. So if I go over here, 
I click battery optimization and I do it over here I can just go once this loads I can go into op, um, all apps so I'm gonna go down till I find um, play music where is it I swipe too far there we go I'm gonna turn off optimize because I mean every time I open it up and I pause the music and then I close the app or I just press the home button the whole app closes and I have to redo it so that's how you can do it on there or if you want to you can do the same thing on here where you can make it ignore an app so it doesn't optimize the battery the way you want it to and then you can see what's using the battery but I've used 51 minutes of screen on time and it's at 96 which isn't bad so you can click display reduce the brightness blah 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 and then it'll go back to display then you can do memory which shows you how much memory has been used apps which shows you all of your apps backup and reset which is just normal backup and reset and then there's about phone I'm gonna go into software info this is running Android version 7.0 and then it has that cool feature for the cats which automatically gets enabled up here and from there that is the settings now I'm going to show you this notification shade so a cool thing is either you can do swipe or swipe down with two fingers or you can go once and the auto brightness what's cool is if I go like this or something like that to make the screen darker So what I'm I'm just gonna go like that now. That that is like that. Um, I swipe. I go to auto, and what it'll do is, as you saw, it just raises it to the brightness that's supposed to be. So if it's gonna be at like five percent, I'll show five percent down there. And then they have your. and then you have your quick notifications right here which is basically the top bar and your rotation basically the first four five then you have the rest of these and then you have all of those now near now there are some functions on here but first you can edit you can add now I did not want that over here I thought I turned that off I'm not even going to use color inversion Oh, the, 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 it's annoying. Well, you do. You have all those. Then what you can do is you can turn on a flashlight, which is really bright. I'm gonna blind you now. Sorry. Just that that does hurt. So the nice thing is, right here you can just press to turn off, and it'll turn it off. You have your battery saver to turn on at 15%. Your data on or off. You can do all of your basic functions there. Capture Plus is one of those things. You have Do Not Disturb. Then you have data saver, or data, mobile data restricted background from there. Then there's a thing called nearby. You can turn on Bluetooth and location. You click it. You click um, no links found. So what it'll do is if you're in an area where there's a link, maybe to a website of yours, maybe there's a website that you're, that you're a part of and that, that the list is a part of when you want to see because maybe they have options that are on the website itself. So you like you're in Staples. Or you're in Starbucks, so you turn that on and it'll make it pop up with the link to Starbucks.com. So, I mean, those are just cool features for this phone. And if you did like this review, please rate, comment, subscribe, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And definitely make sure to subscribe if you did like this review, because more, more stuff about this phone is coming. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.